Made a crazy risk, you gamble, and it's about to pay off. Uncut Gems is directed by Josh and Benny Safdie, better known as the Safdie Brothers, and is starring Adam Sandler, Julia Fox, Adina Menzel, Lakeith Stanfield, Eric Bogosian, and Kevin Garnett. Before I go any further, I just want to say there will not be any plot spoilers in this review. This film is centered around the character of Howard Ratner, or Howie, who is portrayed by Adam Sandler, and he is a New York City jeweler who owes a lot of money to several dangerous people who want it back, and he needs to pay them off by a certain point, or something bad is going to happen to him. But he's also a high-risk gambler who has a lot of gambling problems. He is someone who constantly makes really risky choices, making all kinds of shady and different kinds of deals. He is a bit of a trickster when it comes to all of those things. But one of his biggest things is that he has this giant rock uncut gem that he believes is going to be the answer to all of his problems. But is it going to be the answer to his problems or is it going to be just adding to the problems that he already has? This film is following the really fantastic indie hit from a few years ago known as Good Time, also directed by the Safdie brothers. It was one of my favorite films the year it came out, and I was really excited to see what the Safdie brothers were going to do next. And I have to say, this film is as good as Good Time, or maybe even better depending on your perspective. But I really love this film a lot. First and foremost, the direction by the Safdie brothers is so absolutely fantastic. You are thrust in this nerve-wracking, high-stakes world that is just infused with neon lighting, amazing cinematography, and just a score that is constantly keeping you on your edge, constantly stressing you out, and really pushing this movie to new heights when it comes to anxiety. And I had a lot of anxiety problems while watching this film, and a lot of that has to do with Adam Sandler's character of Howie. He is such an interesting character because he is not somebody that you're rooting for. He's kind of a scumbag type of guy, but you just can't help but watch him and root for him to perhaps get out of the bad situation that he keeps putting himself in. And the situation that he keeps putting himself in is due to his really compulsive gambling problems. And I really like how this film shows how gambling and certain compulsory problems are an addiction and they are an illness and they are something that really drive people down into self-destructive territories. And Howie is constantly going down that path within this film. And you just can't believe that he keeps doing it to himself. The way Adam Sandler plays this character, he's charismatic, he's energetic, but he's also has a sense of existential crisis within him, and he has a sense of self-awareness because he knows that he's putting all of this stress and all of this problems on himself, and he kind of knows that he's not a morally positive character. He knows that he's a messed up person, and you just see how that weighs on him throughout this film as he gets more desperate and more desperate throughout it and it's really a fascinating character story from that perspective and I loved watching that character's journey and I also really liked the other characters that we get in this film. Julia Fox's character I found to be absolutely fascinating one because Julia Fox is an actress who has really no credits to her name. This is actually her first acting credit, I believe, on her IMDb page, and she's absolutely fantastic in this film. The chemistry that she has with Adam Sandler is off the charts when it comes to their relationship, their kind of love-hate relationship a little bit, and what you see within that relationship is it plays on the idea, is the Howie character capable of love unconditional love? Is he capable of accepting love? Is he capable of loving others? It's really a deep film on so many levels from character perspectives, and she plays her character absolutely fantastic. She's a breakout star in this film. Idina Menzel is in this film, and she's also really good, and she's playing a serious, traumatic role, something we don't typically see from her within her career. She's typically known for doing uh, music and things like that. That's her background, but she showed a real act strength in this film, and I just loved all of these interesting, quirky characters that we see throughout Howie's life, and we see that he deals with. Also, 
Kevin Garnett, who many of you may know or may not know, is a Hall of Fame or soon-to-be Hall of Fame basketball player. He played for the Boston Celtics, the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's not really someone who's acted a lot in his career, but he's really solid in this film for what the role calls for. And I was really worried about that because sometimes you get people who aren't typically actors and you can tell they're typically not actors and it doesn't really work. It does help that he was essentially playing a, a somewhat fictionalized version version of himself, but I think it was more true to life than we are led to believe. But this film is absolutely fantastic. I cannot highly recommend it enough, so I'm going to give this film a rather high score of 4.5 out of 5 stars. See this film if you can. If you have to wait for it to come on Blu-ray or 4K or streaming, whatever, if you can still see it in theater, see it in the theater. This is one of my favorite films of 2019. That's been my review of Uncut Gems. If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.